Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me to the new week. Well, the Australian dollar at present is still a little bit mixed, I would say, purely for the fact is that uh, we did have a brief tumble on Friday and posted a low of 74.97 before rebounding. Last week, we did have the latest employment report, which revealed that Australian economy, economy added 22,600 new jobs during April, up from a contraction in the number of new jobs created back in March of negative 0.7%. Looking at the technical implications, I know we are slightly oversold, but the market still wants to pressure the downside. Any advances, I'm looking to shorten the market above the level of 75, 55, 65. So keep an eye on that because from the technical point is that we should get a rejection from there and look down towards eventually of 73, 75, 85 and reassess from there. The euro is still remaining weak and at this stage is currently looking towards 117, um, 40 but lower towards the region of 116, 60, 65 as an objective. The dollar index on Friday did post a fresh high after five days of gains, booked the best round of, of uh, strength for the week. And the market at present did post a high of 93.72. With the resistance seen at 118.20, as I mentioned, level down to the downside is at 117.40.45 and looking towards this objective of 116.60.65 before profit taking is likely to emerge. Well, dolly yen sours up towards the 111 region, and with the resistance still attacked of 111.15.25, I do expect to see profit taking. But if you have a look at this trend, it's still very strong, and I still expect to see any weakness towards 109.70 as a buy. If by chance we do get a break above 111.25, then this would expose an extension towards 111.90 to 112.10 and reassess from there. The pound hasn't made any significant moves and now pressuring the support region, which comes in around 134.45.55. A break beneath there would give further concerns that the pound is weak and look down towards the region of 133.20.30. Resistance at the moment seen at 155.55. Well, gold is a little bit weaker at the start of this week, but still holding above the 1,284 support. A break beneath there would give further concerns and may be opening the way towards 1,278. Now, with the break of 1,300 and failing to close above there, that's put great grave concerns that we might be looking down towards the region that I've highlighted at 1,255. So for those trading from the long side, just be on your guard if we break 84. As I mentioned, resistance is around 95 to 03 to 05. The outlook for oil is still relatively bearish, considering it's making many attempts at this level of $72 a barrel and not backing away. With divergence to the bear case still uh, looking to strengthen, then we should see a move away from the 72 level. After three dojis being posted, I do expect to see the market look down towards the support region coming in now at $67.50 a barrel. A move above 72.5 would actually give me a neutral look. So um, let's see how the market plays in the next 24 hours. Well, that wraps up for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the intraday report. And I hope you enjoyed a new start and a great start to the new week.